Welcome to Philippine Canadian Empire's Daily News Roundup brought to you by CanadianEmpire.net, your only Filipino Canadian daily news portal. I'm Rowan Echo and here are stories making headlines today. DOJ creates task force to probe rogue policemen. The initial investigation of all criminal charges filed against policemen who are allegedly involved in illegal activities will now be placed under the newly created task force of the Department of Justice. The establishing of the task force is a request of the Philippine National Police, as read in the Department Order No. 697, issued by Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre II, quote, in the interest of the service, pursuant to the provisions of existing laws and upon the request of the Philippine National Police, a task force is hereby created to handle the preliminary investigation of cases filed by the PNP Counterintelligence Task Force against rogue PNP personnel on quote. The 13-man task force will be chaired by Senior Deputy State Prosecutor Severino Gana Jr. of the National Prosecution Service. According to Aguirre, the order takes effect immediately and shall remain in force until further orders. Palace calms Robredo's fear on RevGov. Malacanang told Vice President Lenny Robredo to refrain from worrying about President Rodrigo Duterte's recent plan to put the state under a revolutionary government. Quote, with all due respect to the Vice President, I don't see what is alarming because the President time and again has said he will only resort to revolutionary government if the government is already dying. And of course, the government is not in that state now, unquote, presidential spokesperson Harry Rocket told reporters in a phone interview. This after Robredo expressed fear over the support of some government officials for Duterte's revolutionary government because this would mean setting aside the constitution and violating existing laws. But Rocky said, this is not going to happen now because Duterte has already rejected the idea. He said that while it is true that there are some of the president's allies who want a revolutionary government, he appreciates the suggestion but he has repeatedly said there is no basis and no need for a revolutionary government for now. Moreover, Rocket told the opposition not to make the issue of a revolutionary government a big deal, adding that they should just find another subject to throw against the administration. South Korea says North has not perfected ICBM. South Korean President Moon Jae-in has told President Donald Trump that North Korea still has technological challenges to clear before obtaining a legitimate intercontinental ballistic missile that could viably target the U.S. mainland. Seoul's presidential office said Friday that Moon, in an hour-long phone call with Trump, shared South Korea's assessment that the North still needs to perfect skills for miniaturizing nuclear weapons so that they could fit on their ICBMs and ensuring that the warheads would stand atmospheric re-entry. Moon's office says he told Trump the test of the new Hwasong-15 does represent a jump in North Korea's missile technologies and that stronger international efforts should be made to stop further advancements. Moon's office says the leaders reaffirmed their commitment to strengthen pressure and sanctions in Pyongyang to discourage its nuclear ambitions. That wraps up our news here on PZI Daily News Roundup. Thank you for joining us. For more news stories, visit our website at www.canadianempire.net.